just because this was like my means to an end to get express myself. The moment I recorded Holy Land when it was finished, then I did a DVD. You did because I figure I have to be the first one to do it, like to talk about this thing. Right, you know what right. I mean, and, and I actually built one with my friend Andy Rothstein, okay. Tony Senator, twelve string bass. You know, <laughs> and I wanted to. The things that I thought were I that I didn't like about this were actually, in retrospect, the things that make it work. Like, wow. So if this says EMG pickups, so I'm like, I have to have passive pickups because I'm a guys like us. I don't want batteries in a bass. It's like right. no batteries. You pick you know? up radio signals. You right. pick up John Glenn and, and the all Friendship the, 7. Yeah. <laughs> and then all the active circuits, you know what I mean? Treble, bass, boost. Right. Ugats. Ugats to that, you know? <laughs> it makes you a little stun on hey. stage, you know? So, but, so then, th then this is also like, you know, neck through the body, Oof. right? How do you adjust the neck? I, I don't. I have guys <laughs> work on it for me. But, but Where's like, the truss rod? It's here. Oh, there it is up top. Okay. So when I made the bass with Andy, I basically cloned this. Okay. But I made a bolt-on neck. That was another thing. Oh, I have to have a bolt. -on. And guess what? Everything that I did, it wasn't that good. Wow. Period. That's why, you know, I see guys on Facebook talking about, like, well-known builders building stuff you know they don't just build one and get it right you know right, right. but with my limited funds mm -hmm. I, I i only had a certain amount of time to try to figure out and in what i figured out at the end is this works that they did the r d you know the guy that invented this right. the guy i think it was joel danzig from oh, yeah. hamer they've probably did a million experiments like i did but they settled on this for a reason you know yeah, yeah. but then what like i said once i did the dvd and this this went in the case for a long time, wow. man, where it's, where it's still been residing the, the last <laughs> couple of years because I don't use it all the time. I don't, I don't really use it. You know, I didn't get, once I did those things, people didn't start flood, <laughs> flooding me for like, oh, I, I want you to play 12-string on my record. You know? <laughs> so. But it is a, a, base, a solo instrument in, a, in tone. I think so. Like, yeah. I think that that's the potential of it. And I, th I hoped that when I did the DVD, it would at least break some ground and have other people say like, hey, let me get one. It just, it didn't really happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really don't see too many people playing it to this day mm -hmm. or whatever. But that's just, that's the way it is, you know. It was, at least for me, it served my purposes to be the one thing that I did to stand out from other people. Now, what is it about the psychology of a bass player? You're a psychologist. Um, guitar players were always expanded, experimenting with different pedals and things like that, always trying to expand the sounds of a guitar. Right. We touched upon this last time where, oh my God, his bass has only got to be four strings. Right. Now these bass players, electric bass players, which is still a modern instrument, you look at all the, all the icons of the instrument, whether it's Jamerson or Squire or McCartney, they push the envelope. But my God, you'd say to a bass player, why don't you try an extra string? Why don't you try a 12 string? Why don't you try a five or a six string? Everybody goes into a panic. Well, when you say everybody, you're probably talking about our circles. Our circles. You know, and uh, I think that, I think that these are th these types of individuals are known as hashtag rigs of dad. Did you ever hear that? Oh, no, no. Rigs please. of dad. It's, that somebody was telling me about it. It's like, and the younger because there's a lot of young, very talented bass players out there mm -hmm. that I've been friends with on Facebook or finding out about, and. They they they're fine. They don't have. They're having a hard time with these older guys <laughs> saying the Jocko only needed four, four strings. Three. It's actually getting them like annoyed. But you know, to, the the fact of the matter is, these some of these new young guys would pl could play stuff that you you, you can't believe. Okay. Technically, amazing. So, so it's a generational thing. Isn't but it? but the here's yeah. the thing that that sh that should shut up the old guard, which is these guys can play. The old stuff too. Okay. You know, like they're playing like like Jamerson stuff, like note for note. Okay. They're playing like the the standards of uh, like a uh, Donnelly or Havona from you know Jocko Weatherport. They're showing that they can do that shit right. too, right. but we can also go a lot further. As which we should. Th as we should. What yeah. are we going to do? You know, it's part of the problem with a lot of things. Or you know, we, these these people are like are, are we look to with great reverence. They romanticize the romanticize, past. Like, you know, do you think people that are going to, like, change the world, like, scientifically, like, always talk about Isaac Newton? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, Isaac Newton said this. No, it's that's stupid if you think about it. <laughs> you know, you got to always go forward. Right. You know, and, and do what you want to do. And, you know, naturally like, people are going to hold on to the, their foothold. You know what okay. I mean? Like, what, you know, what, the thing that made them the money. You know, I, I, you know I'm not saying that 
it, like Rob was talking about the guitar, you know, and and it's it, he's right. I agree with him totally That's about great. that. Was a great perspective from him. It's a great perspective. I mean, it, what he essentially was saying that there's so much to to take attention away from just playing mm. that you know it's not that big of a deal like it was for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like in other words, you know, I ordered uh, like a long red ledge from Hall and Oates, right? Took two weeks to come to my local record store. Couldn't wait till it came. Now, people have so many things. Right. They, they can be stars in their own right. You know, like, oh, I'm going to go on Instagram because I'm, I'm good looking or whatever. Right, right. They, so, instant gratification. Instant gratification and people are bombarded with stimulus of a lot of things. Sports, mm -hmm. a lot of different things. A lot of information, a lot of knowledge. All the things that we obsess over, you know, all the, you know, this guy's base, you know, uh, uh, the, the, or whatever, it's not that important anymore. And I'm okay with it because yeah. societies change. Okay. It changes, man. You know, it's not like, <laughs> you know, you can't expect people to like the same players that we do or the same music. Right. You know, you, you can't say music is better because it's more technical. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because it's just not the way it is, yeah. I, in my opinion. All right. Okay. Let's hear some 12 string Senny. 12 string Senny, so. all night man you know what i'm saying it's like you just want to you know for, for a tune it's good you know if i brought this on a club date with my father he'd be like you, you, you do the hell is that? and i don't have to i wish i could rival those rob stoner stories you know do you, I, do you have any future plans for the 12 string at this point or just i think i'm gonna use it as a boat anchor <laughs> no i don't really actually right. actually no, actually yeah, i do i'm i'm, okay. I'm working on some things to get under my fingers okay. and hopefully record in next year. Okay. And, and, and tell us about this uh, rig you're playing through. Do you know anything about This it? is uh, <laughs> by Wayne Jones and a couple of my friends use this, okay. use them, and I've heard that they were so, so tremendous and I want to come back with my regular bass okay. and, and see what it's all about, man, all you right. know, but uh, did you, have you played yet? I, 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 I did my double stops. <laughs> Your double <laughs> stops. That was very good. <laughs> That's but, great. Uh, all right, good. Did you, did you ever think of experimenting with alternate tunings of oh, that? Oh, definitely. It's a good point. Oh, that's, and I, that's, I, I could see heading in a weird direction. With that's right. Like, in other words, like, like here. The drones are different. Different drones. Yeah, like, that's, and I'm tuning in fifths. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this, it's a pain in the ass enough to, to, to just tune this thing, you know. You three know. of them. You could do any, it's, it's a good, uh, play. it's something I've actually thought about, like yeah. different type tunings yes. and, and stuff different like modes, that. Yeah. You know, even like microtonal stuff, like tuning, like, like just slightly out of tune. Yeah. But that's really going crazy. Like, no, I don't think anybody wants to hear it except me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bravo. We've got 12 strings. Got 12 strings. And, All right, great. And, but the four string will never die. The four string. That's will right. Especially Tom Samuel's modified oh, Fender. This this old chunk of coal here, Mark. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not like I don't yes, appreciate no, I don't, I that. It's that. just not for me. Yeah. Just I hear you, man. All right, that's a wrap. You can catch additional episodes and much more by visiting us on the web at knowyourbassplayer.com. Thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you next time here on Know Your Bass Player.